Pocket just announced that they are shutting down, which means come October 8th, you will no longer be able to read or access your documents on their platform. If you're looking for a replacement, Reader is an all-in-one read it later app that supports all the same documents as Pocket, as well as RSS feeds, email newsletters, tweets, and books, and seamlessly export your highlights to your favorite note-taking app. In the rest of this video, I'm going to share how you can quickly transfer your Pocket documents to Reader before they shut down and why we're not going anywhere as a company. To get started, you'll first need a Reader account. You can sign up for a 60-day free trial, which is double our usual trial length at the link in the video description. Once you've set up your account, you'll see the option to connect a Pocket inside the Reader onboarding flow. Alternatively, if you've had a Reader account for a while, you can connect a Pocket under the Integrations page in the Web and Desktop app or under your account settings in the mobile app. Once you connect a Pocket, we'll automatically import all of your documents to your Reader library. Your 10 most recent saves will appear in the inbox, and any older saves will appear in the later section or archive if you've already archived them in Pocket. Reader has a ton of perks, one of them being a super smooth highlighting experience. There's also a built-in reading co-pilot called Ghost Reader, which lets you ask your document questions, translate passages, and define words right within the app. All of the highlights you take in Reader will be synced to your Readwise dashboard, where you can review them, chat with them using AI, and export them to your favorite note-taking app. Pocket has been around since 2007, and while we're of course sad to see one of the oldest reading apps shut down, we also want to assure you guys we're not destined for the same fate. We're a fully bootstrap company that's been around since 2017, meaning we're not obligated to some of the unsustainable practices and expectations of venture capital firms. If you're interested in knowing more about our company history and our financial model, our co-founders actually wrote a whole blog post about it, which I'll link to in the video description. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and happy reading no matter where you end up.